Hi, it's Adrian. How are you doing today? So I'm back with uh, some dupe bags from Shein and uh, a couple of makeup products that I've been playing with that I've really been enjoying. So I guess we'll go ahead and get started with what I have on as far as uh, the face makeup and then we'll move into the Shein uh, tote bags. And so as far as what I have on there, um, I did go ahead and mix just about everything today. Um, I started off with the e.l.f. Halo Glow and this one is in the Fair uh, 1.0 shade and the L'Oreal uh, Lumi Glotion and this one is in 902. I think it's their lightest shade. So these are what I have on as my primer today. And I was just sort of seeing how far I could get the glow to go today. And um, I did go ahead and use the About Face uh, foundation today. This one is in F2. And so that's a cool color and that's what I have on for the base. As far as uh, what else I have on, I do have the e.l.f. and these are the bronzing drops in the uh, rose gold. And I also have the ColourPop uh, Pretty Fresh Concealer on as well. And I did go ahead and mix these in uh, with uh, these two. So I used these actually as my base and then uh, the about face for the actual foundation. And um, as far as where I went from there, got out the Flower Heat Wave uh, Bronzer and Sunrise. So I have that on. And um, I did go ahead and pick up the NYX Professional uh, Makeup Buttermilk Face Palettes. These are coming out for the holidays. You can get them on the NYX website right now. Um, I haven't seen them over at Ulta yet, but I'm assuming that's where they're going to go. So I did go ahead and use this color and I mixed it with the Wet n Wild. Uh, this is their Nightmare Before uh, Christmas collection and this is Barrel of Scares. So I used uh, this liquid blush on first and then I went ahead and topped it with the pink one here. And these are uh, the actual buttermilk um, blushes and so if you've been really enjoying that formula um, this is the packaging for those if you get them in the single sizes and so they have a light and a deep palette and I think this one yeah this is the light palette so like I said I went ahead and used this shade today and um, let's see here I have, uh, too much stuff there we go um, let's see what else. I am definitely panning the ColourPop. This is the Flexitarium. I've almost panned it and that's what I have on as far as my highlighter. It's a really pretty wet highlighter. One of uh, the ones that is considered to be, you know, every, it has cult status. People love this highlighter. And then I have the Essence Make Me Brow and the Dark Brown on. And as far as what I did for the lips is, again, I did go ahead and mix Barrel of Scares uh, with a Butter Gloss from NYX. This is one of the Sandworm ones. And then I also put a little bit of the Metaglow by Essence over the top. So, yeah, went all in on the um, lip color today. And... Uh, Let's see, as far as what I have on for finishing powder, I do have the Sungasm by Catrice on for fi finishing powder today. And as far as the eye look, uh, this Cosmic Dreamer uh, palette that I got from Inslee Rain, and I had done a look with these, um, two, well, the multicrims before, and I hadn't put any base behind them. And so I went outside and they looked so beautiful outside in the sunshine, but they didn't show up really well um, on camera at all. So I wanted to go back and redo um, that particular look. So I went ahead and I put the pink all over the lid. I went ahead and put this pretty hibiscus fuchsia color on the outside of the lid. I also went ahead and this is actually a shimmer and it comes off as, well, let's see, yeah, it comes off as a dark burgundy plum color 
and I went ahead and put that right on the brow and on the outside of the lid and um, so I really did build up the outside of the lid and then I went ahead and used this color and this is one of the multi-chromes um, right on the inside so I went from down here to up here and then from up here all the way over uh, so it's really um, really pretty multi-chrome and then as far as on the lid itself is where I put this multi-chrome and it turned out really pretty as well I did go ahead and use an Emeride gel eyeliner in purple as far as my eyeliner and um, this yeah, this is just a really pretty color story. It has a lot of murky colors in it, um, but all of the shimmer, shimmers are duochromes or multichromes, and so it's really fun to go ahead and do looks with, and I really enjoyed going ahead and getting this one. And as far as the way that the actual look turned out, that's the way that that came out and like I said I just knew that I could do this push this look a lot farther than I originally did and so I wanted to go ahead and do that today and um, yeah I think it turned out really pretty um, all of the multi chromes are really catching the light and so yeah it worked so here's a yeah it sort of turned into a, a pink orange kind of look and so I thought it turned out real fun and as far as what I went ahead and picked up from Sheen I used to go ahead and do a series on my channel where I would go ahead and match my makeup to my purse and I started doing that because if you've done makeup for a long time you've probably gone ahead and matched your makeup to your clothes a lot and sometimes you need inspiration and to get out of your you know you get stuck in a rut and stuff like that and so I found that going ahead and matching my makeup to my purse just was kind of getting me out of you know my rut and getting my I was uh, coming up with different looks and playing with makeup more and so it's getting my creativity going and um, so when I started going ahead and looking at these sheen dupes and going oh that would be fun I should go and get that series going again and that was part of what I was doing and then the other um, part is that I'm really tough on tote bags and everything that I have today well most everything I have today is a tote bag and I you know people who have to get a new pair of shoes every four to six months because they are really tough on their shoes I'm that way with tote bags not with handbags or purses but with tote bags I throw them in the car I throw them on the floor you know I've literally had to walk them out to the garage to put them in the trash to throw them away because I really can go through a tote bag in about a year so I don't want a tote bag that's gonna cost me a lot of money and then I'm just gonna use it to the point where I have to throw it away I want a tote bag that I can you know go ahead and use all over everywhere and put all my stuff in and not have to you know be delicate with it because it's gonna have a year to two years at most before I usually wear them out so I have some and let me go ahead and grab my first one I also kind of realized that I had missed a whole trend and so these are designer inspired but they're like I said these are going to be the less expensive ones they aren't going to be the exact dupes but um, they're ones that I can go ahead and use in my daily life and not feel like oh I have to be really delicate with that because it cost me a lot of money and you know these this is stuff that I'm going to use every day so the first one that I got isn't nearly a, a big tote bag but it says tote bag on it and it's actually better quality than what you buy in the grocery store if you're you know um, the dollar ninety nine grocery bags this is definitely going to be a lot better quality it has 
two of these pockets so you can put your sunglasses or a bottle of pop or you know salsa water or whatever you're drinking and then the inside is plastic but it does actually have a zipper pocket there and so um, it's not gonna be it, it, it I can get it up on my shoulder, but it's not going to be an over-the-shoulder kind of bag. Um, but I thought, you know, for summer and running around and shopping when you don't want to be um, carrying something big, that this would be fun. And I gave one to my mom. It came in a couple of different colors. I gave the green one to my mom. Um, these were actually on sale. Usually they run for about five to six dollars. And when I got these, they were on sale for a dollar sixty. I wish I had picked up a whole bunch for stocking stuffers, but I didn't. So that was the first one. And then the second one, um, again, is from Sheen. And it says tote bag. And as you can see, um, it's a bigger one. And these are all. Um, they're not real leather. They're going to be the vegan leather. And so uh, this one actually comes with these short handles. And what I think I'll do is go ahead and just stuff the uh, short handles into the bag and get them trained to go into the bag because I'm going to go ahead and use the all for the shoulder. And like I said, these are actually sewn into the bag. So uh, with these, it actually is, um, they doubled this. So it's not doing that thing where if you pull them, you get a lot of give and you know that they'll break if you push them too hard. They really, they did try to go ahead and do some quality. And they did. It's not a, I mean, it seems to be pretty well built back. This way it looks on the inside. So there's a lot of room in there. And it does have both a zipper pocket. Well, it has a zipper pocket. Yeah, it doesn't have the cell phone pockets. It just has a zipper pocket. But like I said, for me, um, this is definitely the kind of bag that I'll go ahead and use on a daily basis because like I said, I don't want to have to be dainty with my bag. So I went ahead and picked this one up too. And then the third and the last one that I went ahead and picked up is uh, one that's, again, designer inspired. And this particular uh, pattern that um, is really popular right now. And um, it doesn't have a really high uh, uh, strap to it, but it has, um, but it does come down far enough that you can do it over the shoulder kind of thing. And this is what it looks like on the inside. It doesn't have any pockets at all. And this is definitely a cloth interior, not a plastic interior. So that's what it looks like there. I had gone over to Target and I was looking at the bags over there before I purchased this one. And this particular um, pattern is really, really popular and they're just so expensive. And I was like, you know, I saw this one for under $10 over on the Sheen website and it's like, yeah, I want to go ahead and try that to see if I like this style at all and it is a slouchy bag it's supposed to you know have that slouchy i don't have anything in there right now but um that's the way that it's set up to be and again i got this on sheen for under ten dollars i can try out the style and see if i like it i was one of those people that was sure that those big bucket bags that are really long and skinny was going to be exactly what i needed and i got a dupe thank you for getting a dupe and um yeah, yeah. It's something, and I figured out that bucket bags are not for me. I, you, I felt like I was constantly digging to try to go ahead and find whatever it was, and I was having to dig down to the bottom of the bag, and nothing was organized. And I can see if you had a huge big water bottle, a bucket bag would be perfect because it would, you know, keep that water bottle and all your stuff together. But for me, it didn't work out. 
but again, I had gotten a dupe, so it didn't cost me an arm and a leg, and I was sitting with a bag that I didn't want, and you know, all that stuff. So, um, again, dupes um, are just, they have a whole bunch of different uses, and to buy a dupe before you invest in a really, you know, in a bag that can cost a couple hundred dollars to a couple thousand dollars and see if you like the style um, because like I said bucket bags didn't work at all for me but I was sure that they were going to be the best thing ever and they weren't so um, yeah um, I think that's why I went ahead and picked these up but um, I just found them at such, especially this pattern, and it's so popular, it's gaining even more momentum. Everybody are, they're all getting the small purses that are out of this pattern, and so if there are a ton of those on Sheen and Timu, yeah, Timu as well. So if you want to get a bag and see if you like this style, uh, you want to get a bag that you don't have to feel dainty about, um, all of these are suggestions that I would go ahead and go with. Um, the other thing about these is that I'm finding them for under $10 a piece. And I found that with a tote bag or with a purse, it was always sort of, you never got that for another person because they were so expensive that it really became a really big decision what you wanted to get and how you wanted, you know. It was a big decision, it was a very personal decision, and getting somebody a handbag would be crossing boundaries kind of thing. When they're under $10 a piece, I don't feel like you're crossing as much of a boundary, so I could very definitely see going ahead and getting something like this for a Secret Santa or for, you know, a purchase for somebody that you don't know really well. Um, I could see that you could go ahead and get them something like this and it wouldn't be crossing a boundary because the price point isn't way up there. So that was the other thing that I was thinking about. I wanted to go ahead and get this video out early enough because with either Sheen or Timu, 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 um, it can go ahead and take two to sometimes three and a half, four weeks to go ahead and get a purchase in because you're ordering and a lot of times they're shipping from China. Sometimes they have stuff in their warehouse here in the United States, but if it's coming from China, it can get delayed. And if you did want to go ahead and use these as holiday purchases, you might want to make a purchase now instead of later to make sure that you got them in on time. And so um, I just found a whole a whole bunch of stuff that I hadn't seen, didn't know was really available, didn't know was available for holidays. And so, yeah, I thought I'd just go ahead and show everybody what I got and um, make some suggestions for, you know, if you're looking for some holiday purchases, and a lot of people are doing that right now, or you're looking, you know, to do a gift for somebody and you're stuck, that these might be some options. And um, I think that's probably the whole video for today. And I hope that you have a great day. And again, um, all of the bags that I showed you today are from Sheen. Sheen, Timu, they both have a whole bunch of stuff on them. And um, I just uh, decided to share what I had. And again, I hope that you have a great day, and I'll see you later. Bye.